Hey man, it's JC400, and we back. Today, y'all, today we're going to talk about, huh, it takes, it takes a man who is emotionally unattainable, who is as fucked up as I am, to not be able to to give your heart, your feelings, your emotions to women. To not lead with your feelings and emotions. To always think first, put your intellect first, despite how you feel. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It takes an effed up individual like myself in order to do that. Why do I say that, man? Because human nature, man, when we feel something... Usually that feeling leads. Usually that feeling drives us to do certain things. But I'm going to speak for myself. Man, when you experience some things in life, especially childhood trauma, that I'm going to tell y'all, that's why I say an effed up individual like myself. I can't sit up here and tell you I love my mama the same way y'all do or my pops or the people I grew up with you know what I'm saying because when certain things happen to you man it either tee you up or it tee you down right I remember man I was younger I was younger all I wanted man all I really wanted was validation from my mama for some reason for some odd reason right every kid whatever i didn't get it you know certain things was going on we're not gonna talk about all that but we're gonna go to this i ended up getting it from different women in my life at, from a young age right i was bro i was like 14 15 man talking to grown women it was it was this woman, bro, to this day, to this day. I haven't seen her recently, man, but to this day, I got love for her to this day. I call her mama, bro. I call her mama, and I ain't really even called my real mama mama. But she kind of filled that void for me from a young age, bro. But she didn't know. All she did was... She told she brought another side of life to me than my people did. She red pilled me from a young age, son. The bitches ain't shit. Son, this is what she wants from you. Son, this is why she did that. This is why this happened. See, but when I would go to my mama, it would always be the things I would assume y'all heard from a young age. All you need to do is care about her. All you need to do is love her. No, that's not what it is. She just wants you to keep on trying to talk to her. She gonna come around eventually. Bullshit. Bullshit. No, she ain't gonna cheat on you. Uh-uh-uh. Bullshit. So at a young age, family, empire... I started to realize that it's a game being played. I started to realize that the more emotion I give, especially to women, the worse it's going to be. And she taught me that. She taught me the little things I tell y'all. Motives, man. She used to always tell me, bro, what are her intentions? Do you even know her intentions? See, if I would have just listened to my people when it came to this, I would have always thought women's intentions were good. I would have always thought, okay, she wouldn't fuck with me like this. She wouldn't deal with me like this. If she had bad intentions, she must have great intentions to be dealing with me. Wrong. But it took me having to find another woman 
to kind of take the take the place of my mama at that time to really red pill me and show me what's really going on, right? And I'm not gonna lie, I got love for her to this day for that. She changed my life, bro. But family, it takes some kind of heartbreak. It takes some kind of red pill moment in your life in order for you to not lead with your emotions no more. That's the natural thing to do. But at the end of the day, when men leave that to the women, bro, let them lead with their emotions. Why would you? If you watching this, you know for a fact that whenever you led with your emotions, it did not turn out the way you wanted it to, or you would not be watching this shit right now. I can't tell you to just change because there's nothing I can say to make you change. It takes you going through something traumatic in life and realizing that the way you've been maneuvering ain't the right way. To be real, that's all it takes. But see, the problem with this with this sector of YouTube is that people will get on the video and tell you this is what you got to do in order to... Nah, bro. At the end of the day, you just got to go through it. That's as real as it gets. I can tell you what I went through. But at the you going to look at this and say, okay, that's what he went through. That's his experiences. But my experiences may be different. You're going to look at this and say, well, that's only the women he was dealing with. All women ain't like that. You're going to look at this and say, my girl different. Nah, bro, my girl will never do that. Nigga, I been through it, bro. I swear I done been through it. I put that on every... That's why I talk to y'all in the way I talk to y'all, bro. Because at the end of the day, it's just experiences in life. That's all it is, experiences in life. Unfortunately, your experience will be terrible. Unfortunately. But that's what it takes. Unfortunately, your heart is going to get crushed. Your shit is going to get stomped. But that's what it takes. Happened to me. It happened to people I grew up with. Man. Empire. I just want y'all to remember. As men, we lead with intellect. We lead with ration rationality we lead we think first act second it's a reason why masculine energy operates in that way nowadays they want us to be like females bro nah nah if that's the case it wouldn't be male and female it wouldn't be man and woman there's a reason why they're feminine first we're masculine first that's how we're supposed to operate together in the world. Opposites attract. We learned this shit in elementary school. Opposites attract. In order to be your full masculine self, in order to operate and ration at all times, you have to be an effed up individual like myself have experienced messed up things in order to shift your paradigm into knowing I'm a man, bro. I'm intellect first. I'm thought first. I'm ration first. Until you get to that point, you will always deal with women in a feminine state. You will always worry about catering to her instead of her catering to your purpose. You will always see her as equal to you or above you instead of her being your help me and assisting you on your purpose that the Most High gave you. But you'll never get to that point until you become a effed up, selfish, masculine man like myself hey man peace love prosperity nah nah nah
It's JC 400. Road to a milli, road to a billy. It's all love. And we out.